agency owners, you are leaving thousands on the table by not having a newsletter. We have clients that have come back to us months, even years later, as a result of seeing our newsletter and consuming the information that we provide to people and then book a call with us and sign the very next day. We didn't need to do any extra selling. We didn't need to do any following up. They saw the value from what we provided publicly through our newsletter and they came back to us. So today I'm going to walk you through exactly the three places where we get emails to build up our list, where we get email addresses. And I'm going to walk you through an example of one of the emails that we literally sent out two weeks ago and the exact structure that we use to get clients to book calls with us to um, so that they can see the value in what we offer and so that they can convert into clients. All right, so let's dive into it. I'm going to walk into the first one here. The first one's the most obvious one. It's our website, right? So at the bottom of our website, we send a lot of traffic not only to our website, um, but also to a bunch of different landing pages. And the bottom of them, we have this. A lot of websites and agencies I've noticed do not have this. And it's one of the most simple ways to collect emails. Once they subscribe here, they are sent to go high level where we then nurture them. We send them a welcome sequence that has about five different emails with value. Thank you so much, et cetera, et cetera. We're not going to go through the welcome sequence today. Today, we're just going to talk about the ones that we send on a monthly basis. The second place that we get emails is from book calls, right? This is an obvious one. If people have booked a call with us, we have their email. If people fill out an application on our website, we have their email, and then we're able to put them into our newsletter flow. That one's a little bit more obvious, and those are even the ones that convert more often than even the people that sign up on our website. But the third one is the most important one. We've been doing this now for two years, and we've gotten thousands and thousands of emails through this process, and it is through advertising. So we actually send out lead magnets, so free lead magnets. Here's an example ad campaign that I made for you guys so that you can see exactly how we structure our ad campaign, who we target, the creatives we use, etc. So this on these free lead magnet campaigns, this one specifically has four different target audiences, and I'll dive into each one of them. But let me just show you the structure of the ads, and then I'll show you the creatives in these as well. We have gotten thousands of people to download these free lead magnets. And then from these free lead magnets, we collect their phone number and we collect their email, where we're then able to send them emails, send them text messages later. Uh, this one I just set to $10, $10 a day. As you can see, it's still in review because it's something that I just published for you guys right now so you can see it. And it's a new one that I'm actually uploading. Um, so this is how we have it structured. It's auction leads, super straightforward, advantage cam, uh, campaign budget, $10. And the next level is more important. So this is where we're going to set it to instant forms. We're not sending it to our website. We're sending directly to uh, Instagram and Google's native instant form because it's the easiest way and the fastest way to get results from people. We're hooking it up to our face, my Facebook page because I'm going to send it directly to my personal Instagram to run all this, to run all of these ads to. Uh, the budget set elsewhere. Uh, these are the countries that we're targeting. We're targeting Australia, Canada, Germany, Denmark, Finland, France, United Kingdom, Japan, Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and United States. These are the best countries that we have found from testing, uh, where we get the best results and the highest quality leads. And they also happen to be the economies that have some of the largest e-commerce brands in the world. And that's specifically who we're looking to target for our agency is e-com brands. Uh, under the Advantage audience, we're looking for age 23 to 50, just because that's the target audience that we're looking for. It depends what your agency does. If it's looking for local businesses, you might want to set it a little bit higher, uh, the age a little bit higher. And then the people who were targeting for this ad specifically or for this group specifically is household income, 
top 10% of zip codes, right? So it's going to give us the top 10 richest people in the US, for example. Okay. And that's who we're targeting specifically for this one. We're just doing Facebook and Instagram stories and feed because that's what we choose to do. You can do it depending on what your creative look like looks like. Our placement is uh, Facebook feed and Instagram feed and then Instagram stories and Facebook stories. This is just because of the creatives that I uploaded here. You can do whichever placement you want depending on the creative that you make. Um, now I'm going to go to the next audience just so that you can see that before we move on to what our creatives look like. This one's just broad. So it's everyone age 23 to 50 um, in these locations, just letting Facebook do its magic so they can use their algorithm. Shopify, this is people that are interested in Shopify, same age group, same countries, and payment processor, these locations, this age group, and people that have Facebook Facebook payment users in the last 30 days. So those are the people that we're targeting. So this is what our creative looks like. It's a picture that I took of my screen and I literally just put Instagram text over it. Remember, we're doing Instagram stories, so we want to make it look as native as possible. We don't want to trigger anything. And plus, we're giving something away for free. Um, so it just says, I just created a free PDF, SEO PDF specifically. I walk through the steps I take to rank my seven-figure clients on Google in less than two months. We generate multiple seven figures in organic sales every single month with this strategy. Download for free, only available for the first 50 people, $390 value. Some little, some scarcity in there and then adding the value and, and letting them know that we're giving it to them for free. This one is a little bit similar to the last one. I just created a free SEO PDF. I walk through the steps I take to rank my seven-figure clients on Google in less than two months. We generate multiple seven figures in organic sales every single month with this strategy. Download for free now for a limited time only. Once again, some scarcity there. Uh, and then $390 value. The only thing we changed in this creative is the bottom. These are actually creatives we that aren't new. We've spent thousands of dollars on these. And then we have this one right here that's more of an edited one that says rank on Google in less than two months. Copy and paste the strategy we use for our eight-figure business clients. Free download. Um, and the structure is very quite simple. We just place some quick text on here. Free download on how to rank your Shopify brand on Google in less than two months. Um, some variations here. Same thing with the headline. And our form is really straightforward. The only thing we're doing is just a type form for volume. We're looking for no intro really, it just says download now. We put a fancy image in the background, whatever. And the only thing we're asking is for their name, email, and phone number. We've also tested it without asking for their phone number. We found that it's pretty much the same. Once they send that information over, as promised, here's a guide, and we put the media file in there so that they can download it. Pretty straightforward. Make sure we got our pixel attached. So that is how we get more people on our email newsletter. Free lead magnets are incredible. Uh, make sure that your free lead magnet has a couple qualifications. One, that it's a complete strategy. You don't want to leave them on hook at the end of like, oh, and then to finish this strategy, you need to work with us and we'll do it for you. No, you need to give them the entire and complete strategy as detailed as you possibly can. Um, the second thing is that you want to make sure that it's actually valuable action that they can take within 24 hours. If it's something that's going to take them longer than that, if it's something that is going to be more drawn out, that's complicated to understand, uh, it's not going to be valuable to them. They're not going to take action on it. And then they're not going to see, they're going to intrinsically view you as the person that provided that unvaluable information to them. So they're no longer going to trust you. This isn't on lead magnets. If you want to learn more about lead magnets, I can do a video at a different time. But those are just some key factors to a lead magnet in order to make sure that they are actually valuable and that people 
will actually value what you've given to them. The last thing to note is that you want to make sure that you're making it valuable for your target audience. So I'm always saying SEO, I'm saying Shopify, I'm saying e-com brands, I'm saying uh, how qualified my clients are, they're eight-figure, seven-figure, nine-figure clients, so that people in that bracket are the ones that it attracts and brings into your newsletter. Um, and then once you have that, these same people that download it, they'll be put into our GHL funnel where they then receive that welcome sequence, um, giving them all that value. So now you know how to build your email list. It's very simple to do. You can also use these free lead medics on your socials. You can post them on there and collect emails on a regular basis. If you have just eight free lead magnets, you can cycle those every two months on your LinkedIn, on your Instagram, on your Twitter, wherever, and continue to collect emails on a regular basis from those free lead magnets. Just make sure that they're valuable. Once again, there's nothing worse than downloading a lead magnet that sucks and you wish you didn't give someone your email right? So don't be that person. Now I want to head over to go high level so that you guys can actually see what an email looks like so that you can take these, the same exact template if you want to and recreate it for your audience. Keep in mind once again, that we are looking for SEO clients that are e-commerce brands. So all of our emails and the stuff that we send out has to do with either SEO or e-com, right? So we're looking to provide value in these emails. These are not salesy emails. They are, it's a true newsletter where we're trying to educate people. And we actually take a lot of the content that we put in our newsletter from what we post in LinkedIn and vice versa um, for the content. So you're able to also recycle this content elsewhere if you want to make a reel about it if you want to post it on your Twitter, if you want to post it on your LinkedIn, you can take the exact same long form content or create a YouTube video like this about it, whatever. Um, but here's an example of one that we sent on 8-3 um, of 2024. You can see here it went out, it was executed, etc. It was sent. This one's called Unveiling Our Top 5 SEO insights from Q1 newsletters. You always want to send your email campaigns out through campaigns inside the marketing tab, because if you do it through the automation, delivery isn't as good. So this is a, the best place to do it. Um, this one specifically, as you can see, uh, we we always send it through not my own email, right? So that I'm not going to tell you what my email is because that'd be silly. Um, but this is a fake email, but it's still my name. We wanted people to be able to recognize it. So we still put one from our agency, caramarketing.com with my name on it so that it looks like it comes from a real person, et cetera. Uh, you can see that on our email list that we have about 5,000 plus people. This one specifically was sent out to people that we've had calls with and they're hyper qualified. It's not to our entire list. As you can see, there was a lot that skipped. That's because we don't have emails for these contacts. Um, so that's why they were never sent to them. It was actually 100% delivery. Um, so this is where, and this is what the actual email looks like. So let's walk over to the preview. Um, and it says first name. I'm not going to read this entire thing. If you guys would like to, you can pause now and read it. But the main idea behind it is that, like I said, we're just trying to provide value for them. So we're just diving into some lessons that I learned um, from, and it says, as we approach the end of first quarter of this year, we're thrilled to, sh to share the top five SEO insights that can propel your business to new heights. These strategies have been proven instrumental in enhancing online visibility, driving targeted traffic, and boosting revenue. So we're just giving them those targeted things. Great little call to action at the end, which I'll talk to you about. But the first thing is, uh, the first one is enriching product description for keyword dominance. Um, your monthly blog is your SEO secret weapon. More transactional keywords equals more revenue. Achieving the perfect referring domain to backlink ratio. The magic of high domain authority backlinks and a description for each of those. Not too long, not too short, but just 
actionable things that people that are interested in SEO or e-commerce can take. Um, use these strategies in Q1. Uh, sorry, using these strategies in Q1, we've made multiple six figures for our clients. If you want to see if you qualify to work with us, fill out this application. So one, just reinforcing the strategies that we said above that we've actually done them and it's made our clients money, but it's also like, hint, hint, this is how much we made for our clients last month, right? And if you want to be one of those clients, then you can uh, fill out an application below and see if you apply, if you see if you are, are good to work with us, right? And so we're not pushing out even a call link. Well, we don't give call links to anyone. Um, we just give our website's application because people can't just book up a call with us from their website. They actually have to go through an application process. They have to fill it out. We have to see if they qualify, then we'll contact them and then we'll send them a calendar link. So this is the application that we actually send them to, um, that's on our website. You can access this elsewhere also, but it's first name, last name, email, phone number, website. How much revenue does your business generate monthly? We only work with companies that make 3k per month and then tell us a little bit more about your business we only require these ones if they don't want to tell us more they don't have to once they submit that application then the appointment setters and closers get to town on them if they're qualified and once again like i said they can this isn't like a hidden secret uh contact form that they can't find on their own they can actually find it on our website as well. And you can see it right here in the top right where it just says work with us, work with us, etc. All across the whole page, apply to work with us. It's the same exact one. So it's not like we're trying to trick them into something or make them feel like it's something exclusive or that we're trying to sell them on anything. It's just like straightforward reminder here. If you want to fill out an application, go ahead. So that's just an example of a newsletter that we sent about two weeks ago. We actually had 119 people from the 5,000 that we sent it to fill out an application with us to work with us. So it does work very effectively. We have people that come back months and even years later after reading a newsletter that they found to be valuable. We send these out on a weekly basis. You can also send them out twice a week. You can send them out bi-weekly. You can send them out once a month. More frequently, the better, because then they won't forget about you. They won't unsubscribe, especially if what you're saying is valuable. You obviously don't want to do one every single day, but I would say twice a week to once a week is probably a good mark for you. And then this will just help you keep engaged with your lead list, even if your appointment setters, your closers aren't constantly following up with them. They're still getting value from you. And once again, similar philosophy to lead magnets, you want to make sure that it's valuable. You want to make sure that it's complete and you want to make sure that it's something novel and new and not something that they can pretty much find on ChatGPT and that it has some character to it, right? Because if it looks like it's just something that's written on ChatGBT, like they can go find it themselves, they're not going to find interest into it in it at all. But make sure that you add your character, your personality to it so that people understand that it's actually original work coming from you. And then once again, you can repurpose this, put it other places. But I just wanted to share this newsletter strategy with you because I know there's not a lot of people talking about it. And I've seen that a lot of agency owners are not doing it. And it's personally made me thousands of dollars. And I've probably closed 50 to 100 people in the past year just from having and following up with people on a regular basis via value. Right? So go take this strategy, implement on your agency today, and let me know how it goes for you. Once again, many of you will watch, but very few of you will actually listen.